You're listening to the Secure Dad Podcast. Discover ways to secure your home, protect your family, and embrace your role as a protector parent. Welcome, friend. I'm Andy Murphy, the creator of the Secure Dad. This podcast serves to help families become proactive in their safety. The information I share on this podcast is for general information purposes only. My goal is to empower you to make safer decisions for yourself and your family because our safety is our own responsibility. Today, we're talking about how we can avoid being the victims of identity theft. Plus, I'm going to share some new information about what age group in America is most susceptible to being scammed online. All of that and more ahead on the Secure Dad Podcast. The holidays are coming up. Like me, I'm sure you're working on getting the right gifts for the people you care about. Instead of getting your family another gift card or something they may already have, give them the gift of privacy. You can gift a privacy plan from Delete Me. It's simple to do. Go to joindeleteme.com slash dad and select the privacy plan you think fits them best. This way you can help a family member protect their personal private data from being purchased by anyone online to do whatever they want to with it. It's a great way to protect those you care about the most. And who doesn't like a discount when holiday shopping? Go to joindeleteme.com slash dad. There you'll get 20% off a privacy plan when you use the promo code dad at checkout. Trust me, no one will be able to top a personal gift like privacy. So brighten their spirits with a plan from Delete Me. See why I find Delete Me essential to my privacy at joindeleteme.com slash dad. And use promo code DAD to get 20% off today. Delete Me is a sponsor of the Secure Dad Podcast. Also, the Secure Dad Holiday Gift Guide for 2023 is now out. Think of it as the Toys R Us catalog for secure-minded adults. In this gift guide, you'll find all sorts of great gift ideas for the safety person on your list or even find ideas for yourself. To get started on your holiday shopping, there's a link to the guide in today's show notes. So before we get to our main topic, I found a news story that I just wanted to share with you. According to research from the Better Business Bureau, people ages 18 to 24 have reported losing more money to scams than older people. Now, this breaks with the traditional thought that older Americans were being victimized more by scams. And to be clear, they are being targeted every single day. This is just a new data set to learn from. The BBB says that scammers have been using job search websites to target their victims. We're talking LinkedIn, Indeed, ZipRecruiter. Scammers use the information from a profile to contact job seekers and offer them a fake job. From there, they ask all sorts of questions to steal their personal information under the guise of being a part of the interview process. So if you are online looking for a job and somebody contacts you about a job that maybe you didn't apply for, make sure you double check that job listing and don't be afraid to ask questions of the interviewer to confirm their identity. I feel that as we move more toward the holiday season, identity theft scams seem to ramp up. So let's start by defining our problem. Identity theft is when somebody uses your personal information, like your name, credit card numbers, and social security number, to impersonate and steal from you. Obviously, that information is very important to you, and it's really valuable to scammers. Generally speaking, identity thieves are looking for information like your social security number, credit card numbers, financial institution information, birth date, email address, home address, login credentials, and a whole lot more sensitive information. The reason that identity thieves want this personal data is to better convince your financial institution and medical provider that they are you, so they can get your money, health benefits, and even more information. So let's take a look at how we can prevent identity theft by looking at the problems and the solutions to protecting our personal information. The first problem on the list that I wanna talk about today is the phishing scam. Now, a phishing scam is a type of online scam that targets customers by sending them an email that appears to be from a trusted source. Some of these things can be very hard to determine if they're legitimate or not. But a phishing email really is one that attempts to get an individual to submit their information freely to the scammer. Now, as a general rule, 
It is much easier for scammers to con you out of your information than it is for them to hack into a database. So this is the path of least resistance for them, and this is why it's a commonality through pretty much all the things that we're going to be talking about. To avoid being caught in a phishing scam, be discerning with every email that you get. Try not to click on links unless you know for sure the email is legitimate. But if you're being emailed by your credit card company for a fraud alert, then you need to call that company. Don't use the links in the email. Get your card out and call the number on the back of your card. And don't don't Google the number either. Google can't filter out all of the fraudulent search ads that scammers buy on you know Google search. So you can't really trust the sponsored ads on Google either. So I guess that's the takeaway here. Just stick to calling the company yourself and talk to a real person. Many times, thieves will actually get into your accounts, like your credit card or your banking account, and they will actually stay there for months. They do this by making small purchases over time. Many people think that scammers will jump in and just place a very expensive order from an outlandish retailer, like somebody tries to buy a Range Rover with your credit card, something like that. But more often, they make purchases less than $50 at common places like Walmart, grocery stores, and fast food restaurants. They do this to stay under your radar and steal from you more over time. To combat this, you can audit your statements for suspicious activity. If you don't have time and you don't feel like checking out your banking app every day, try to set up fraud alerts for your account. Now, this is a free service because it benefits you and your institution. You can even get an alert like a text message or a smartphone notification every time you make a transaction to help stay on top of your accounts. Take it from me, I've had my credit cards compromised several times over the years, and this is a good practice to have because you can find things just as soon as they go bad. Of course, identity thieves are going to be trying to get your login information to pretty much any website that they can get. They'll be looking for usernames, email addresses, and passwords to impersonate you online. To better protect your online accounts, use strong passwords and enable two-factor authentication. To level up your passwords, stop using the common ones like password1234. Instead, use a passphrase like, my password is 1234 exclamation point. Here, you can use upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and add a symbol. Now, this upgrades your password from 12 characters to 17 characters. Also, (laughs) this is funny. In the last episode of Ted Lasso, the character Jamie Tart has one of his accounts hacked. He thought he would outsmart hackers by making his password the word password, but he decided to be clever and spelled it with two S's. (laughs) It was a very low-key joke that I thoroughly enjoyed. Another step to protect your account is to enable two-factor authentication. The extra layer of 2FA creates a secondary way that a company or bank can verify that it's really you signing into your accounts. And they do this in real time, which is pretty cool. An example of two-factor authentication is using a text message verification when logging into your accounts. You'll get a text message from the company with a number that you input into the website before you can officially log in. Now I know the guys at the Shared Security Podcast want me to remind you that text messaging is a better form of two-factor authentication than nothing. But you might want to use an authentication app like Google and Microsoft Authenticator for more strict security. There's also some other third-party apps out there that you can use as well. Now, you may not realize it, but you can actually get a free copy of your credit report annually. You can request free copies of your credit reports from all three major credit bureaus through annualcreditreport.com. This means you can see data from Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax all in one place. You can also request a credit report from all three of these places uh, on your own, but if you just go to this one website, you get them all together. Now, regardless of how you get your free credit report, Take the time to comb through it and look for any suspicious activity, like accounts that you don't recognize. As we wrap up, there's one more way identity thieves can obtain your personal data. They can buy it. Legally. Yes, it's weird to think, but data brokers sell your information to companies that host people search sites. On these sites, anyone 
can search for your information like your home address, phone numbers, work history, relatives, and email addresses. Of course, they'll be using the information they get here illegally, but they're scammers. They don't care. That's why I used Delete Me to remove my personal data from sketchy people search sites. I've been a customer since 2018, and I very much appreciate the value in their services. You can find my full review of Delete Me in the show notes. So let's get real for a second. If you have your identity compromised, do not feel ashamed. This happens to good people every day. Don't be embarrassed to get your problem fixed. The first thing that you'll want to do to report identity theft is to contact the Federal Trade Commission. They have a special website for this. It's identitytheft.gov. Or you can call 1-877-438-4338 and you can start the process with them. I hope that you can avoid identity theft this holiday season. By taking some of the steps that we've talked about today, you'll be in a much better position to fend off any ID theft attacks that come your way. Remember to be vigilant. Identity theft is an everyday occurrence. That's all that I have for the Secure Dad podcast for today. Thank you, friend, for listening. Take back your privacy and personal data with help from Delete Me. Get 20% off a privacy plan when using the code DAD at checkout. Go to joindeleteme.com slash dad to get started. Protect your devices from scammers and hackers with Faraday solutions from Silent. Listeners of this show get 10% off your entire purchase when you use the discount code THESECUREDAD at checkout. Get started at the link in the show notes. And speaking of the show notes, don't forget that there's a link to the holiday gift guide there that's going to help you find gifts for the secure-minded person on your list, even if it's you. If you'd like to know more about The Secure Dad, join me on Instagram and X. My username for both platforms is The Secure Dad. And of course, my website is available to you 24-7 at thesecuredad.com. I'm Andy Murphy, reminding you that our safety is our own responsibility. <laughs>